Arthur. Please leave a message at the sound of the tone. If you need to speak to somebody right now, press zero and ask to speak with my secretary, Susie. Thank you. Uh, yes, this is Jay Beswick. I'm returning a call. I'm sure it's in regards to the uh, Colorado City polygamist issue and the abuses therein. Uh, I will try to reach you later. It's about uh, quarter after four Rocky Mountain time, out of Utah anyway. Um, several agencies, I guess, are involved now. I've been talking to the FBI in uh, Utah, the FBI in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and also the Severe Crimes Unit of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. So there's several agencies that are starting to look at it, but a lot are still saying that this is a state jurisdiction. So I'll um, get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye. Trying to retile you. Oh, I was just on the phone with Lenore again. I know. Uh, your line was busy. It was 435 something. That's pretty funny. My phone rings till 2 or 3 in the morning, usually. I bet. Jay, let me, let me tell you who I am and what I'm doing, okay? Mm -hmm. um, this is a result of the uh, meeting with Linda Bender Friday? Right. Or? Yeah, I figured that. Right. Um, I'm a prosecutor in her office. I've been assigned to do a preliminary inquiry into the issues that um, were brought to us last week in addition to some other additional things that have surfaced. Mm -hmm. But my understanding is that, um, well, first of all, I got, I don't know, a stack of documents, and I'm not even probably a third of the way through them. It's taken me quite a while, and I probably need some kind of flow chart with all these names at some point. Perhaps even you have yeah. one. Yeah, well, we're, we're working on flow charts for the uh, severe crimes unit of the uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police now. Okay. And, and that, that's being done by Deborah Palmer up in Canada, but, but she only represents the colony as it exists up in Canada. What do you mean, the colony? Well, the, the, there's an offshoot of this. Well, actually, there's this group. This is the Bountiful place? Yeah, uh, Bountiful, yeah. There, there's the, um, those who follow uh, Warren Jeffs or Ruin Jeffs, there, there's, there's the Bountiful colony is about 800 people there. Colorado City, you can debate between six and 7,000 people there. The Hilldale site, a couple thousand. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm writing here. Bountiful has about 3,000? No, 800. 800. And Colorado City? Colorado City has between six and 7,000. Okay. And Hilldale has about 2,000, roughly, maybe a little more. And who does Hill Hilldale file? They, they follow um, Ruland Jeffs. So Hilldale and Colorado City follow Jeff. Right. Okay. And, and so then they also have a couple of ranches that are out towards Barrel Junction. I don't know. One of, the, one of them has about five families, so that has about 12. And then there's at least 1,000 that are up along the Wasatch Front, and that might be even closer to 2,000. So, I mean, they're, they're scattered about. There's at least 12,000 that are involved in the Fundamentalist uh, Latter-day Saints, FLDS. Here, before, before my... My hand falls off here, and I am trying to write as fast as I can. This is what I'm trying to do, so you know where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a grasp on who's looking at what here and how many people have their hands in the pot, and, and so that we're all not recreating the wheel. Well, you see, right now the FBI, and, and from the very beginning, I met with the FBI on uh, August 23rd, and they said this was state jurisdiction. Okay. They passed it to you guys and said it's either Utah or Arizona. Okay. And uh, the reason why the FBI is now interested in... Idaho is because as we started to collect names of girls, uh -huh. for me it started out with Lenore, but I realized that just one case was not enough to uh, pull the interest of either state or federal government. It was very plain the first week that very few people were interested. Sure. So we started I'm not going, sure, but I understand. So okay. we started going much deeper into it. So we, we came up with a list of about 50 girls that were under the age of maturity, under 16, 16 or under, that were married off or cohabitating, however you want to define it. Mm -hmm. Spiritually married. Spiritually married, but... What did